We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up T.O.P. We are on the 12-month time frame. Price action, last candle to the right-hand side is a huge bullish green candle. Lost side of momentum to the top, so it's pushing up to the top, spiking something at that high. So we got to figure out what's going to happen. Also, the market price action did break the second last candle of the market. Current price is sitting at 108.21. So before we get to the areas of price pushes up, where can it go? Pushes down, it can make consolidate. Let's start off with overall structure. So we can see price is sitting at 105. Point twenty one. If we go back to the first candle, we are looking for solid structure for highs and lows, uh, red and green. So we're going to grab that red and green to the low. So we can see that the market did spike that low. The numbers are 4.59. And when the market did break out of solid structure, it broke out the numbers of 25.12. And we can also take a look at the high of that price action candle nearing the numbers of 52 point two seven so as we walk down the time frame we can see what's happening in that area when that market did break break uh break out uh when price action broke out of the second last candle in the market so going back to price action as i said before sitting at 108.21 so if price action pushes down we can see that it can tag the numbers of 52.27 so it identifies a break and retest if it pushes up to the high, it can tag the highest high structure of uh, that price action can do at 257.00. The next area we're going to tag is we're going to bring the midpoint from the high and the orange SR lines, which be near the numbers of 144.00. Also, if price action pushes down further, we're going to track that midpoint between current price and midpoint of the low SR line that we are near. So price can come near the numbers of 80.38. So let's talk about what's happening, what happened in the market. So basically, when the market started off with price action, it consolidated sideways. So it worked its way sideways for that consolidation. It did spike up once with the price action candle, came back down, and the price action, or I should say the second last candle did spike up once, price action came back down, so it should be identified as a break and retest of some type of pattern in that area, and then, which went between the orange SR lines as we walked down the time frame, and then the market spiked up to a high of overall structure of 257.00, and lost momentum, and came below the midpoint. So once that market broke this area, we're going to see if it's going to come back for a retest or work its way up further, or it's going to consolidate sideways or drop back down to the beginning of, beginning of the market. Walking down to the six month time frame, so price action on the six month time frame, reading as a bullish green candle. Let's take a look at what happened. So the first candle in the market basically is a bearish red doji cross. So it's a weak candle, consolidated sideways. Second candle, market spiked down, then it might push up. So basically, coming from a first leg and a second leg was the breakout. So we're going to see if we're going to wear the identify the third leg, and we're going to see if it's going to push up further for that double bottom. Three month time frame. So price action on a three month time frame, same candle, bullish green candle, spike up to the high, tagging a high, came from a low. Let's look at the direction of the market once again. We did receive a first leg and still receiving that breakout. But let's see if the market is denied somewhere in this area that drops down. It can be a, it can be a overall structure of a double top. So let's say if you draw drew out imaginary lines coming up uh, in green for that first leg, second leg, third leg, create that double topping land back at the previous areas, and you see that double top formation. Working our way to the monthly time frame, so price action monthly time frame as well. Bullish green candle spike up to the high. Market consolidated, pushed up on the top. Got to wait to figure out what's going to happen. So right now, give you an idea, price action is in the mid-range between the SR lines of 
144.03 and 80.38. So anything happening in that area could be consolidation until we see the breakout or the break up to the upside or down to the downside side or unless we receive consolidation or a pattern that's forming in that area. So working our way to the weekly time frame. So price action on the weekly time frame. So let's go back to when the price started off, market started off. So we see that the market spiked off. So imagine the market coming from a low, spiked up to a high. We did receive a first leg, second leg, third leg. Market created that double top, came back to the previous formation, consolidated, consolidated sideways. So that means a pattern was formed very tight. And then it broke up to an upside, as I said before, lost momentum. Try to see what's happening. You, you, uh, next, don't see a retest yet in the area of the SR lines that we divide. Walking down to the daily time frame. So, okay, price action daily time frame is reading as a huge bullish green candle still spike up to the high, spike up to the low, very high spike up to the high. So it means the market could be consolidating, retesting, but we don't see any of that yet. We're gonna keep walking down the time frame. Until then, let's walk over to the second last candle on the daily time frame. We're gonna grab that candle a little bit above, a little bit below. So as we walk that time frame, we could see what happened. Market did break out of that SR line. We'll just try it, draw it all the way across. So basically everything out of that zone in red is consolidation and the, mar the market finally broke out with the price action candle towards the second last candle. Now headed to the fourth four hour time frame. So let's take a look. So as we can see, 427, 2023 at 130 p.m. this candle was formed, basically consolidation from the last previous candle. And then the market pushed up on 428.23, spiked up to a high, lost momentum and consolidated sideways. So this is where we see what's going on. So we waiting for the breakout of the second last candle body for that market to work its way into that direction. Price action just popped up with a candle on a four hour time frame. So what is reading currently now is that price action broke out of the zone, pushed up to a high came back to retest, basically came back to retest the midpoint, a little bit below the midpoint, and we're gonna see if this price action candle is gonna push up. So if so, market will identify as a break, a retest, and a push, unless this bearish red candle, as we can see, pushes down. If so, it will be identified as a break, a full retest, to the bottom of that zone we're going to see if it's going to work its way up further second last candle third last candle is reading as a double top so there's an m pattern in there and so far this is the retest of the price action candle so we got to figure out what's happening so so far we're still waiting for the breakout of that consolidation of primarily the third to last candle in the market of the bodies to the upside or downside Working down to a three hour time frame, price action three hour time frame bearish red doji we can do second last candle doji as well Third last candle is within the fourth last candle, so we're still looking for that breakout. We can see that market still identifying the same thing. Break retest, see if it's going to push up. If not, if it comes down, that means it's coming from the third and fourth to last candle in the market, which identify as a double top. Market came back to retest that double top with the second last candle, and the market pushed down. So market so far is coming from a double top and retest, or a break and retest to see if it's going to push up further. Headed down to the two. Same thing, headed down to the one. So now we can see that double top much more clear on the one hour time frame, right, going right across the board with that SR line for that first, second, third, fourth. Okay, the third to last candle was the break. Second to last candle is a retest nearing the midpoint of that area, the bottom side of the third to last candle, the market pushed down. So we are in that formation of the M pattern once price action breaks the numbers of 68.98 and work its way down, then I'll be looking for, that's the break and we're looking for the retest to see if it's gonna push down further or it's gonna work its way back up. 45 minute time frame, 30 minute time frame, 15, five, Three. So in a three minute time frame, market is reading as a break. So we have the break. Now we're gonna see if it's gonna follow the retest and push down further, unless it creates some more momentum. So we're gonna see if it's gonna re re be respected. It may just drop down all the way to the bottom of that zone before it works its way back up. Okay guys, this is Cam Jones, T-O-P, Stalk.